Welcome to hula hooping in your second trimester. Yes, it's possible. And it's even possible with fire. With the proper training, of course. Hey mamas and pregnant hula hooping enthusiasts. Welcome back to the Sacred Flora channel. I'm Lyora of Full Circle Phenomenal, and today's topic of discussion is hula hooping in your second trimester. Now in our first prenatal hula hooping video, we talked about the different kinds of hula hooping while you're in your pregnancy. And basically this just boils down to why are you hula hooping? Are you doing it for exercise? Are you already a hula hooper and you're looking to continue your hula hooping practice throughout your pregnancy? These are some things to consider, though either way, the bottom line is you're still able to hula hoop while you're pregnant. There are just a few things to be aware of and some pointers on how you can better yourself throughout your hula hooping journey and throughout your pregnancy. So during your first trimester, you're experiencing a lot of pregnancy symptoms. Things like morning sickness, things like fatigue and having to pee a lot, all of these things, and there are more, are mostly happening during the first trimester. Come the second trimester, things start getting easier. Your energy levels start coming back. You're able to sleep a lot more soundly. The morning sickness usually fades. So much comes to an equilibrium during your second trimester. So first and foremost, it's just easier to hula hoop moving into your second trimester. Now, as you move into your second trimester and things start progressing even further, you start to show. As you're getting larger in size, it's important to pay attention to where you're hula hooping and how you're hula hooping. The number one con I would say about hula hooping in your second trimester is that your stomach, your belly is getting larger. So hula hooping around the waist is just going to be a little bit more uncomfortable. You're gonna to wanna to keep the hula hoop up along the thinnest part of your waist or even up towards your chest. The good thing about hula hooping is that you don't have to hula hoop around your midsection all the time. This is a very common misconception that a lot of people have about hula hooping in general is that it's just around the waist or just around the midsection. So if that's a belief that you've had in the past, let's get rid of that right now and start practicing some technique. We'll leave links in the video description for some new tricks that you can learn moving into your hula hooping that don't require use on the body. Some on body tricks that are not on the waist are like knee hooping, neck hooping, shoulder hooping, breaks and paddles. Off of the body, we've got isolations, we've got weaves, moving into doubles hula hoops with the two beat and the three beat weave, the fountain. There is just a huge world out there of tricks that you can learn that don't require you to use your midsection for hula hooping. So if you're feeling a little bit hesitant about hula hooping while you're pregnant because of your growing belly, then well, start practicing hula hooping off of your belly. Totally cool. Here's something to consider about your growing belly with hula hooping. Moving into your second trimester, you're going to start noticing the little movements. And this is a really fun part of the pregnancy in general. And with hula hooping, you start to become more aware of the baby's position and being able to tune in even more to what's going on inside of your belly within your baby as the baby grows and develops is super key, super crucial. Just the simple motion of moving your hips around moving your waist around enables you to grow further awareness of this area of your body and of your little one growing inside of you. You can also practice things like yoga and I would super encourage you to do so because that in and of itself will help you grow awareness of your body, of your baby's health, of everything related to your pregnancy. On that note, I've started a week by week prenatal yoga and Qigong series for you to check out over on the Full Circle Phenomenal channel, where we study what's going on within the baby within that particular week and within our physical bodies within each week of your pregnancy. So be sure to check that out. Another epic thing about hula hooping in your second trimester is that it is exercise and it's really fun exercise at that. You're able to stay in shape, and have fun, which helps to release any nervous energy that you may be feeling in a healthy way that enables you to feel that much more into the space that's growing within your body, growing another life form. And loosening up your body, loosening up your joints, loosening up your pelvis, loosening up all of your muscles, preparing yourself for an even healthier pregnancy, birth, and beyond. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you're new to hula hooping, be sure to check out our hula hooping playlist and get started with some of our beginner's tricks. This video was recorded at the Bambuda Castle in Boquete, Panama, as Jesse and I drive around the world on the Unite the World First Hand global movement. 
bringing you two new tutorials every week in 4K Ultra HD.